Here's a quick tutorial on the Export Mixed Goods missions in GTA Online and everything you must know about it. The Export Mixed Goods Cell mission was released in GTA Online with the Criminal Enterprises update as of July of 2022. And the requirements you have before you can participate with Export Mixed Goods Cell missions is you must own a CEO office and a CEO create warehouse and you have to have sourced special cargo via Lupe or another warehouse staff at least once and then you can speak to your assistant. So what you want to do is now go to your assistant in your CEO office and start the expert makes a good mission. Upon starting you have a 15 minute timer before the mission fails. Once you leave your CEO office you will be given a phone call by Lupe telling you that you have started the mission in which after the phone call ends you will get a blue box on your radar indicating the location of the flatbed that is randomly selected amongst one of all of your CEO created warehouses in GTA Online upon starting the export mixed goods mission. Then you want to go to your flatbed and pick it up. During transport of the flatbed, you may be pursued by a gang chasing you in Karumas, Futos, or Fugitives, or you may also be chased by cops in a 3 star wanted level. If in case you were chased by a 3 star 1 level, I would recommend dumping the flatbed for a time being, getting to your personal vehicle and quickly as possible going to this street marked with this barber shop icon. And what you want to do is locate an underground subway entrance that you can hide from the 3 star 1 level very easily. Upon losing the cops or while you are being chased by the gang members, you can deliver it now to the docks, which is the definite location for all flatbeds from no matter what location and it will reward you with $50,000 or 1 to 2,000 RP, but for the case of this week up until April 17th, it is double rewards, so I got $100,000 and about 4,000 RP. Upon completing successfully or failure your own export cell mission, you will have a timer or cooldown of one in-game day or 48 minutes, and you cannot boost this timer by doing anything such as sending staff to source cargo or stockpiling cargo or etc. You have to wait the definite 48 minutes before you can do it again. And that's generally everything you need to know about the Export Mixed Goods Cell Missions. Now that they're double rewards this week, hope you guys found this highly informative. Thank you for watching. And if you are interested in informative content like this, I do upload GT Online weekly update news videos every Thursday evening. So if you're interested to check out what is new in GT Online every week, to check out anything you may need or want to know, simply check them out. And I hope that you guys found this highly informative and thank you for watching and have fun.